Okay, I am back today to share about sunscreen. Um, with summer coming up, I know that we're going to be all purchasing sunscreen. And I want to give you some information on what you should be looking out for, what things to avoid. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I always want to point you to information besides just me. I'm not a guru. I'm just trying to share things. So I always want to point you to signing up for the newsletter because I share videos I've watched, books I'm reading, newspaper articles, and information from scientists and stuff when I always share these kinds of videos. So you can sign up and you can have the link to the video and all the other information to do your own research and to make choices for you and your family. The of the best of your ability. So today I want to try and keep these videos short because I know that they can get rattling long. So I want to get straight into it. Um, I've done a lot of research since January and I was super, super surprised last week when I looked up the sunscreen I bought and put on my kids all summer long last year. Um, it had what I thought were the good ingredients which it, it show I'm looking at it right now. I'm not going to share it on screen, but I will gladly tell you or send you a message with it if you want. But it's SPF 50. It says it protects against UVA and UVB protection. It's water resistant. It's non-allergenic. Um, it's formulated with zinc oxide. And then it's formulated without parabens, fragrances, nanoparticles. But I looked it up on EWG, and I talk about this a lot. Um, if you're not familiar with what EWG is, it's in environmentalworkinggroup.org. And what they do is that they rate um, shampoo, soap, makeup, skincare, sunscreen um, on a scale from 1 being the best to 10 being the worst. And so I looked this up, and it is a 7 out of 10. <laughs> so... I was not happy about that because I thought we always think that we're making the best choices. But when you learn more, you can do better. Um, so that's what I want to share today, what to look out for. And um, information like EWG where they do actually rate things and then they break it down by ingredient on why they rated it each thing, um, health reasons and different things. So. UVA rays and UVB rays. One is to just keep you from being red. And then the other one is what actually causes skin cancer. So you want a sunscreen that protects you from both. And also SPF, you don't need to actually buy SPF above 30. So I want to break this down because I had a misconception about this. Um, SPF 30 protects 97%. SPF 50 protects 98%. And SPF 100 protects 99%. But such a big gap in 30 to 100 is filled with chemicals. And SPF, another thing I didn't actually know, is SPF... 30 means if I get red after 30 minutes being in the sun on my own without any sunscreen on, SPF 30 means I can be in the sun 30 times longer than my 30 minutes. I didn't know that. <laughs> Maybe you knew that you knew that I did not. So you don't need, but a, always a good rule of thumb is to reapply sunscreen every two hours, no matter, really no matter what because we sweat, we're in the water, it can rub off. So that's a good rule of thumb every two hours if you're going to be out in the sun. Another thing is, I wrote notes so I didn't forget anything. Okay, a higher SPF, let's go back to that. It's filled with chemicals, we said, but the problem with that, it causes tissue damage in your skin. It causes hormone disruption. It can as actually also cause an allergic reaction. But the thing I hate about a lot of chemicals and stuff that I'm finding out is the hormone disruption because I'm doing a lot of research and I'm 
actually getting a, um, like a DNA test, um, about hormones and stuff because a lot of chemicals, when we ingest them or put them on our body or eat them in our food, they mimic hormones that our bodies need to do a lot of things. So for women, we have our estrogen. A lot of chemicals can mimic that. And then our body uses it like it should be using estrogen. And it causes a buildup of toxins in our body. I don't want to go on a tangent too much. Sorry. Okay. So UVB rays are the rays that cause sunburn. UVA rays can penetrate deeper. Um, They suppress our immune system. And they can cause skin cancer. So a lot of sunscreens, like I said, only go with the UVB rays because that's what gives you redness. But you want a sunscreen that has both. And there are two types of sunscreens. There is a chemical sunscreen and then there's a mineral. So when you apply a chemical onto your skin, it actually penetrates and gets into your like bloodstream. When it's mineral, it only like sits on the surface and protects you and bounces the free radicals and stuff off. So you always want to buy, you want to look for a mineral sunscreen. And chemical sunscreens, if you are an ingredient reader, which you should all learn to read ingredients on certain things, um, oxybenzone is the one that's a no-no. It actually, I came across um, an article, it says the studies um, show that oxybenzone can actually be, um, can actually be tested in breast milk and be sensed in that. So again, not only does it affect us, it gets into our bloodstream, it gets into our milk supply, and then we're giving those chemicals into our little babies that we nurse. So to me, that's a big, a big problem. (laughs) And again, I already talked about how it mimics estrogen in our um, bodies. The other thing with chemical sunscreen is they actually hurt the environment because of our coral reefs. So you should find, um, you should like core, like some of sunscreen say like coral um, friendly. And that means it doesn't harm the coral reefs. Um, Okay, so mineral sunscreens, they don't penetrate deep into the skin. So then two ingredients are that you need to look for is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And even mineral sunscreens are not created equal because you need to watch out for um, ingredients like nano zinc oxide. Um, That means that they're particles and then they, it's just, there's, That's why I always say it's hard for us to remember all of these things. So when you use, when you use an organization like um, EWG that they, with a quick scan with your phone, when you're at the store, you can tell if it's a good, a good choice or a bad choice Um, because it's hard to read all of these things. But the more you absorb yourself into, um, you know, chemicals that you should be avoiding or um, when you're like the end of the word um, could mean many different things. It's the same like sugar in food. It's, It's many different words, but it all means sugar. It's the same with chemicals, but it makes it hard because the other thing is that when you buy an SPF or a sunscreen that has like a strong scent, like that coconut scent that we all, a lot of us like, that means to make that scent, they could use up to 3,000, 3,000 ingredients to make that scent. And they don't have to label those ingredients, which is crazy. Um, but it also is goes back to that re- allergic reaction that I was talking about. Some people don't know that they just say that they're allergic to, you know, that certain brand. But maybe it's the ingredient in their fragrance and it's not on the label. <laughs> so that makes it difficult. So I hope this was helpful. I try to keep these videos like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so recap, you don't need to purchase anything over SPF 30. Reapply every two hours if you're going to be in the sun. Um, Go with a mineral-based sunscreen. 
Make sure it has UVA and UVB protection. Use the EWG website when you choose. But also because I love Beauty Counter and I'm so happy I found them and I signed up as a consultant in January and I'm so happy I did because it literally gave me just another level of education um, as I have been on a really big health journey the last year with my family and with myself, especially this year, really trying to focus on myself because we do put, you know, makeup and skincare and those everyday items onto our skin makes it so much more important for me to share about these things and I'm so passionate about. Um, Beauty Counter has a sunscreen. It is mineral based. It's SPF 30. It shows that it's UVA and v UVB defense. And on EWG, it is a number two. So I'm super happy. I wanted to share this because I have a little sample here and I wanted, because I know sunscreens, the sun is getting me. Sunscreens, sometimes I don't like them because of how they feel or you have that white cast. That white cast usually means it's chemical. So you shouldn't go with that. But I wanted to show you, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I wanted to show you our sunscreen. So can you see that? Okay, there you go. So it just rubs right in. It almost has a shimmer actually. It does, it has a shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it more so because I'm in this bright room. Um, it actually feels really like lotion. And it has, I don't know what the smell is. A slight orange smell, which a lot of our products do. Because my favorite face oil is orange and it's heavenly. So it rubs right in. You don't have to sit here and keep rubbing it in. I know some of them I bought. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this stuff going to rub in ever? So I don't know if you can tell that. So it rubs right in. Um, it feels kind of like lotion. Um, I'm excited. I have this in my cart to buy because as I found out the old one, I have like this much left in our bottle I bought last year and I feel awful that I put it on my kids all summer long. But I have our sunscreen in my cart to purchase. So I feel happy and safe putting it on my children. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or leave me a comment or um, email me. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, I have a link below. If you want to buy some safe sunscreen, I'll leave that link down below to beauty counters. Um, and I hope this stuff is makes you a more informed consumer. And I'm so excited to share more as I'm learning about everything um on my health journey i know last month i did lipstick and the toxins in our lipsticks i have sunscreen and i am hoping to do um, a deodorant educational video this month also so if you want to be um, informed on deodorants you can sign up for my email list too when that video goes up but i hope this was informative i will talk to you again soon have a great day